right, everyone. Thanks for coming to the book club. We have a new member this week, uh, President Trump. So why don't we start with you, Mr. President? What were your impressions of the book? Thank you, George. It's a tremendous book. So I brought my copy with me. It's, uh, it's right up there with the Bible, which is also tremendous. This Henry Miller has done really an amazing job. I think we'll be hearing more and more from him. Sir, sir, Henry Miller has been dead for 40 years. Excuse me, excuse me. As I said, there's a lot of stuff in here, a lot of, a lot of beautiful things. But could you be more specific? How did you feel about the plot overall? Well, it's a very incredible plot. Cancer is obviously a tremendous problem in this country, in the world. A lot of it comes from China. It's a major issue. Billions and billions of people get cancer every day. And as you know, we brought those numbers down in a very strong way. Many of the people they thought would get sick with various cancers and many other things ended up dying of COVID instead. Uh, well, what about Tropic of Capricorn? How do you think the two books compare? I would say it's equal. You need them both, and they work well when you compare them. All right, well, uh, maybe this would be a good time to expand the discussion to the rest of the group. Let's talk about the original controversy when Tropic of Cancer came out. The book has been notorious for its candid sexuality. What's that? Yes, it was initially banned in the United States and considered by some to be a work of pornography. And like I said, if anyone else wants to jump in, this would be a really... Are you looking for a particular passage, Mr. President? I was thinking that maybe we could somehow include pictures. I think they call it a graphic novel. Maybe we could look into something like that. Mr. President, have you read this book? That's no way to talk, Chris. Of course I read the book. I read it very quickly, much quicker than Sleepy Joe, by the way. I'm actually a really great reader because I'm cognitively there. They even gave me one of these tests with words. I think they call it a vocabulary test. So they give you three different versions. A lot of people don't know this. The word there has actually three different ways of spelling it. So they say there, there, and there. So you put down there, there, and there. You get extra points if you remember to include the sort of upper comma in the third there. And which there you use is depends on the situation. They can be interchangeable in certain cases. I said to them, I said, why not just do one spelling? But they said, no, it's important to have the three spellings. But I used the test. They were amazed. They said, we've never seen anything like this, which Biden also needs to take along with the dimension test. And frankly, a drug test. He's a sick guy. He stays in his basement. It's unbelievable. They wheel him out on stage. He's got the mask on. He's covered in plastic. Mr. President, I feel that we've been driven wayward. Excuse me. I am an incredible reader and writer. I've written many books. The Art of the Deal has been a beautiful thing. As you know, it's been tremendous how well it's done. It's actually, the people are saying, the most popular book in the history of books. The fake book clubs will never discuss that, but that's okay. And by the way, there are those who say you can read too much. You do know that. Who says that? Read the manuals. Manuals? What manuals? Read the books. But you just said we read too much. Well, even more reason why you should already know this. Good one, Donald. Sir, may I just ask, why exactly did you want to be part of this book club? Well, you see what's been going on here, and it's a total disaster. I never would have joined if you guys had done a better job. Other book clubs were laughing at you before I joined. And frankly, they're saying that this may be the best meeting you've ever had. And I heard that Obama was a member of the book club, so I had to join. And he... Wait, wait, I'm sorry. You're saying that you joined because Obama was a member? Oh, I never said that. That is so misleading. This is what you people do. I just mentioned that Obama happened to be a member at one point. You guys make it sound like I was jealous of Obama or something. If anything, Obama was probably jealous of me. He spied on my campaign. It's the worst scandal in his second worst scandal after Hunter Biden's laptop. He should be in prison for what he did. And by the way, so should crooked Hillary Clinton. But nobody writes about that, about what she's doing to our country. They just say, oh, he's a bigot. He's a sexist. He won't denounce Henry VIII. 
I don't know Henry VIII. I don't know anything about him. People say he would like me, which I appreciate. So to Henry VIII, I would say stand back and stand by. The fact is, I'm actually the least sexist person you'll ever meet. Nobody respects women more than I do. I respect them all, except Rosie O'Donnell, who has been extremely unfair to me, but that's okay. Her career's over. She ruined the Flintstones. They made that version with real people in the 90s. Nobody saw it. They hated it. They said it was an absolute disgrace. So she was the worst Betty Rubble we've ever seen.